Great is God's faithfulness to me. Great is God's faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting sing, I will bless your name. From the rising sun to the setting sing, I will bless your name. Great is God's faithfulness to me. Great is God's faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will bless God's name. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will bless God's name. Great is thy faithfulness to me. Great is thy faithfulness to me from the rising sun to the setting same i will bless your name from the rising sun to the setting same i will bless your name great is God's faithfulness to me. Great is God's faithfulness to me. From the bed of life to the dead of life, He remains the same. From the start of life to the end of life, he remains the same. Great is God's faithfulness to me. Great is God's faithfulness to me. From the morning time to the evening time, I will really bless God. From the morning time to the evening time, I will bless my God. From the morning time to the evening time, I will sing His praise. From the morning time to the evening time, I will praise God's name. Great is God's faithfulness to me. Great is God's faithfulness to me. When he starts a walk, he takes it to the end, I know for sure, for sure. When he starts a walk, he gets to finish the walk right till the end. My life is so walking, that's morning on. The goodness of God every day. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will bless God's name. From the rising sun to the setting same, I will bless God's name. Greetings, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to your favorite program, A Chapter a Day, aka A Card for Sure, where we get to create an audio Bible and we study the Word of God together. On here, we get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, 
so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Yes, we want to be useful in the kingdom of God as much as we want to be useful here on earth. I'm sure God created us to be here on earth for a purpose and a reason. So we can't afford to just be anyhow, anyhow. We have to be useful in the kingdom of God and be useful also here on earth. We're ambassadors of Christ. We have to go about spreading the good news and letting people know about the kingdom of heaven so we can depopulate hell and populate heaven. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea. Oh, yeah. So, yes, let's get on with a chapter a day for today. It's always singing, handing over the session to God, the birthday party, and then the birthday prayers, and then the Bible party, and then we pray for something really specific that God gives us to pray for, and then we thank God for an amazing session because we always have an amazing session, and then we sign out. <clears throat> so, today is Psalm 29, and it has... 12 verses. Psalms 29 has 12 verses. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. Rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your mighty and your protection, provision, guidance. We thank you for your love, oh God. Father, you love us so much that we cannot tell. You love us beyond words can actually present. You love us beyond our reasonable minds can comprehend you love us beyond what our minds can fathom lord we are grateful we thank you O god for your loving kindness for your tender mercies for being the great god you are we are grateful lord we thank you for the opportunities to be a blessing and to serve under you father we give you all the praise all the honor and adoration increase while we decrease so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout this edition of the chapter day today. Back your world with signs and wonders. Lord, we come against every manipulation of the enemy. For those who are supposed to be a part of a chapter day today, whatever the manipulation of the enemy is, we cancel it. We render it null and void. And we begin to call for every single person who is supposed to be a part of a chapter day today to come be a part and be blessed. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know you always hear and answer. In Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a ginormous amen. Amen, amen, and uh, amen. I say it again. Today is Psalms 29, and he has 12 verses. He has 12 great verses. So let's get on with what we have for today. We'll start with the birthday party. The first person on our birthday book is Mam Akwande Agnes. Mam Akwande Agnes, we actually went to the same secondary school together. And then somehow in high school, we separated. We got reconnected again thanks to Facebook, which I don't take for granted. And I'm very grateful. She's a very calm person, very... I'll say she's introverted, but when they have a topic or a subject that she really likes, you'll be shocked that she's an introvert. She's going to be able to talk. Okay. And of course, the next person on our birthday book is Mam Viva Abaro Victoria. Mam Viva Abaro is the CEO and founder of Humor Avenue on Facebook. Go to that page and laugh your worries away. I mean, you'll be in awe of the things that people do there and say there. And you'll be like, what? It's a place to relax. Sometimes you need to just let off steam. You need to just get it off your chest and stuff like that. So you go there, they do a lot of fun, a lot of jokes and stuff, which is very, very important as well for your mental health. It's very important. And of course, I got to know her on, I think, yeah, I got to know her on Facebook. I think through a mutual friend's post or something like that, I got to connect with her and she has been an amazing, an amazing lady. She's she's a business guru to, uh, to the core of the core. I mean, like she's just so pushful. She's so hardworking, a great wife, a great mother, 
a great big, big, big sister, a great friend as well. She's just an amazing soul. Really, really, really. She always checks up on me and asks how I'm doing. And once in a while we get to communicate. Don't know as often. It's understandable because she's one really busy person. But she always tries to get the time out to ask how I'm doing or to check up on me. Thank you so much, Ma'am Viva Barrow Victoria. The next person is Mr. Jamuto Betran. Mr. Jamuto Betran, we got to know each other on Facebook as well. Like on the Mutual Friends post, we connected. And he was always encouraging me on the things I do, supporting my work and stuff like that. I'm really, really grateful for all. And of course, he also loves God with a passion, which is really a good thing. Um, it's very commendable. You know me and my love for people who love God because it makes my Christian race easy as well. Yeah, I'm not struggling to walk on eggshells. So mm -hmm. people who know God, who love God and who are serving God, I just easily connect with them as easy as possible because it makes my Christian race easy. And anyways, the Bible says, bad company corrupts good manners. So if you want to continuously contain and live with your good manners, then you walk with good company, right? And good company are people that believe in what you believe in, stand for what you stand for, and stuff like that. So happy birthday to you, sir. Um, a young great dad and a great friend as well god bless you the next person is mom jackie phillips greetings 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 mom jackie this is my very good friend and my very amazing sister she's hard working she does pie that you would be in awe. you eat the pie and you just want to eat some more and some more and some more they used to make pie. And sometimes when I go to the house, what they welcome me with, you know, like that, used to be pie. So sometimes I'll just go and visit. Even when I don't want to visit, so I'll eat pie. While well, keeping it real. So my secret is out there. I used to go there sometimes just because I know that I'm going to get pie. Every time I get to buy pie from them, they used to give me extra. In fact, the first time that I ate, when I ate the pie from the hospital they used to put it at the general hospital so one of my friends bought that pie for me and i was like oh this pie is so delicious it's so nice it's so good like who makes it and stuff i could not figure out who made the pie so one day i think i went to the house and they were making pie though i think they were baking to take to the hospital then then my mom said i should go and buy that they sell pie or something i should go and buy i went to buy like i tasted it i was just so sure they were the ones who made the one in the hospital. Like I was like 3000% sure they were the ones. And I tried to ask and they confirmed that they were the ones doing the pie at the hospital. Like the taste is unique. It's, it's so delicious. Oh, she's so good with um, housecraft, home economics and all those things. She is very good. And she's also very smart, very smart young lady, very business oriented. And of course, she's very pushful. She also loves God with a passion. And she loves to see people be their best versions, which is something that I love. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so yeah, she's really, really good. She does really great pie. So you can actually follow her on social media and get to place an order. She still does it till date. And I'm sure you would thank me later. She does one of the most delicious pies I've ever eaten. I've ever, even, I've gone to some really great places, like some big, big five stylish kind of places, but their pie was nothing, nothing to write home about. One thing I've noticed about some of this big, very ginormous, high class name restaurants is that their food doesn't tickle my fancy. But Mama put, oh yeah, that one that's in that backside, that burning corner like that. <laughs> you just cut here for backside, so tam, you see Mama put, those are the ones that they are food there. Oh my God, it is teased for up skin. It's so delicious. But some of these ones, like those one time I went to a certain big restaurant, I'm not going to call name. 
but it was in Bamenda. I actually went to a certain big restaurant and they gave me food that felt, it tasted in my mouth like it wasn't well cooked. And on cutting and cutting and cutting and going right inside, I could literally see blood like stuff. Oh, I was just so not happy. Plus, it's first of all very expensive. My some of my friends used to always until they got to know me very well. They always used to just want to take me to this big, big, big restaurant. Me, let's go to a chombo corner and now buy my pop and beans. I am great. Like I'm good to go. Like honestly, that's me. Let's just go to this place where they do some fried potatoes and eggs, and you see how the person is making. Like it's just so nice. Like all these super big restaurants, their food doesn't tickle my fancy. Well, I'm not saying all of them are bad. Some of them are really actually cook great. But most of them, <clears throat> and they're first of all very expensive. <laughs> it's not the Langa Bex. Go and place your order. Anyways, you're not even in Bermuda. And she's not even in Bermuda. So it's, I think it's American people who are supposed to order from her. And then Bermuda people can order from her mom. They do really great pie. Okay, so let's go. The next person. Oh, that's it for our birthday people. The first person again, Mom Aquande Agnes. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Mom Viva Abaro Victoria. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Jamato Betran. Happy birthday to you, Jackie Phillips. Happy birthday to all these amazing people and to every single person who was born today. Those I know, those I don't know. Happy birthday to you all the same. And right now, we're about to pray for every single person who was born today. So even if I didn't call your name, don't fret. I'm going to pray for you, which is best. Prayer is best. Like it's greater than any other thing else. Any, any other thing at all. Prayer is the best of them all. So right now, we are about to pray for all the birthday people. And I'm sure that God is going to answer you in grand style i like when god does all those big big grand style things you know like that i love it so i was about to check if we are live <clears throat> oh so minister mark is actually replying so it means we're live welcome woman of god on fire thank you for being here always for always supporting us for always being there for us we're grateful <laughs> i always say that we all have 24 hours of life, you know, and for someone to give me a part of their life like this, you know, come and give me 10 minutes of your life, 15 minutes of your life. My God, it's a great, it comes with a great responsibility and that is not a joking matter. We should not even afford to joke about it. So let's pray for the birthday people and then we'll come back on with our Bible party. I said Psalms 29 and it has 12 verses. I hope I got that right. Because I got 11 verses. Oh, God. I knew that something wasn't right. It's 11 verses. Why did I see 12? Oh, I think it was Psalms 28. I not changed. I not changed it yet. Okay. So Psalms 29 has 11 verses. I'm so sorry, people of God. It's 11 verses. So let's pray for the birthday people and come and get right on with the Bible party. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for adding a new year to the lives of your children. We pray that you open the windows of heaven and pour out the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let their blessings be made permanent. Let it overflow in their lives so that anybody who comes in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause them to increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. Let their gifts make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before mean men. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to teach them all that it takes to get to the top and not only get there, but stay there permanently. You're the master strategies, so all the techniques that you bring to us or you present to us, we know the work perfectly. Father, I pray, O oh God, and bring before you, O oh God, their activities that you're going to guide them and lead them, that they're going to do your will and do your bidding in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that you're going to put them in the right place where they're supposed to be. 
open their eyes to see those they are supposed to be destined to help us to so that they will help these people and strategically position themselves to continuously help the people when the time is right. So also, you're going to raise their destiny helpers, putting them east, west, north, and south, strategically positioned to help them when they also cry out for help. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause them to be able to stand out every time, everywhere, every day. That is going to be all about you, O oh God, that people see your good works in their lives and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to bless them, guide them, and lead them. In the right part, O oh God. Father, I pray this day, O oh God, that you're going to teach them not only to get to the top, but to get to the top and stay there permanently. You're going to teach them how to also walk in purpose. And even as they walk in purpose, fulfilling that which you've called them to fulfill, O oh God, they'll get to a place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to back out, they feel like they want to give up. But hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, This is the way, walk down in it. Don't derail, don't stray the part. They will stay on cause and all glory will be given unto your holy name. Blessed be your holy name, O God, because you deserve all our praise. We magnify you, O King of glory. We give you all the praise, all the honor and adoration because you deserve it. Lord, write beautiful stories on the pages of this life, O God, of the ones who were born today, that they would have only reasons to rejoice, to sing and dance all the way, O God. They won't have any reasons to regret, O God, why they were born. Lord, I pray, O God, that you're going to cause them to continuously stand out because you make opportunities available for them to stand out. Thank you, Lord God. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to open doors to them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause them to move higher and higher from glory to glory, O oh God. That your word is going to be a lamp onto their feet and a light to their part. That when they get to a place and they feel overwhelmed, they want to give up, Lord, they will not stray the part because you're going to cause them to stay and hang in there, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, eternal Father. Perfect all that concerns them. Give them a Psalms 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, O oh God, that you make them know you're with them all the way. You never leave them nor forsake them. Lord, we say thank you. We just bless your holy name, O oh God. We magnify you and we give you all the praise. Lord, divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to progress and be their best. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, God of wonders. Thank you, King of glory. We look forward to, O oh God, having another swell time with you, having another great time with you, with all these people who were born on a particular day. Lord, bless them in a very, very special way. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you are going to cause money to meet money in their pockets, blessings to meet blessings in their lives, favor to meet favor in their lives, even as you clothe them with a garment of praise, honor, and favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a big amen. But I, as always, sing the amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed, Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed, Amen. Let it be in their lives. God bless you all tremendously. I may fill your bands with all good things. And enlarge your cause. I always get to say I love you so very much. But God loves you way, way more. Mwah! Have a blast. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. So let's get the Bible party started. Oh my God. Okay. Are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. I was born ready, people. Psalm 29, a Psalm of David. 
Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory of the God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. I don't know if the bike sound is as loud as it is. It's what we get for living close to the road, people. Forgive us. Okay. Psalm 29. A Psalm of David. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The voice shake, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf and discover the forests and in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory oh you can't hear okay that's good the voice of the lord divided the flames of fire the voice of the lord shaken the wilderness the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calve and discovereth the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord seated upon the floor. Yea, the Lord seated king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints shall say a big thanks be to God. Okay. What, what did you learn? What did you learn? What did a you big, learn? A big thanks be to God. <laughs> Welcome, Minister Mark. Happy Sunday. Happy, 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 darling. How are you? I'm great. It's always awesome to see you. Always, yes. always, always. <laughs> and I'm always, I'm always happy when I can join. I know. Sometimes I'm like, it's my lucky. I don't know why other people don't uh, uh, ask to join when they when they come live. When they when they kind of I hear you greet some people and I'm like, maybe they're not in a position where they can join live. You know, maybe some people are working or all of those things. Or some oh, people yeah, are shy. Too. Or some people are shy. Some people are shy. Maybe. <laughs> some people are very shy. I know that. They tell me. Yeah, but some say they are very shy. A shy so, they so I told yeah. someone that you can actually come online without your camera. You can actually come online without the camera, and we can hear your voice, which is also good. But they're still that's true. Shy. That's a good option. Yeah, anyway. maybe they, they don't even want their voices to be heard. You know, Nicodemus yeah. did not want anybody to know that he went to see Jesus. I, I'm just saying. No. He was going on the background all the time and he was actually having a great time with God. He was one of the hidden <laughs> disciples. <laughs> you know, princess, when you ask, what do you learn? What do you learn? I remember when I used to ask my son when he was like nursery school or smaller classes, I would say, so what, what did the teacher say today? He would say, she said, take your box and go home. I'm oh my like, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, so my friend, you went to school in the morning. I bought snacks, everything. The teacher spoke from eight right o'clock right to two p.m. All you had was take your box and go home. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually a cute little man. I can imagine. <laughs> take your box and go. 
So what do you learn? What do you learn? I will say I learned that and all they say shall say a ginormous. <laughs> now what I learned what I learned today is that we should give God all the glory and all the honor and all the praise because he deserves it. Yeah. So my prophetic prayer for today is taken from um Psalms twenty verse seven and eight. We have read that one before, right? Yeah. We've studied it together. Yeah. So some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall. They will rise up and stand firm. Amen. So how will we not give glory to that kind of a God like forever and ever? Whether he has done something today, or he will do tomorrow i will glorify him somebody sent me one of my tiktoks of last year when i was thanking god for what is happening now in my life and she was like what were you so thanking god for it was december 22nd as i was thanking him because i knew something was coming and so i was already glorifying him you know how when a father knows that as you are going back home after work your children will be waiting for you with all excitement, right? Yeah. Would you want to yeah. go back empty-handed? No way. No way. Even, even, even the day where you don't go with anything, the way the children are still happy to just see you, it will just make your heart begin to swell like that. And you know, oh, sometimes yeah. as a child now, oh my goodness, my father, if I hear the horn of the car, I'm already quick, I'm shaking, I'm standing there, I'm, I'm saying all kinds of good things about my father. Nobody can try me. But... <laughs> I know. Oh, confidence we had in our I, father. Hey, hey, uh, I have the strongest father in the world. I have I, the best. I have I the... Know. So when we give our heavenly father, when we give God that kind of power, that kind of glory, the one that he even deserves, so it's maybe like, he, he don't ever pay we. I know. He's so excited to, you know, carry your matter on his head and all of those things. And because you, we, we, we give him that glory, we are also very careful to not do something that will kind of like, you know, embarrass him or make yeah. people wonder whether we are really his children. You cannot say you are God's favorite girl and then you are doing some kind of things that will make people wonder, ha, huh. even God will be like, hey, move my name, move my name, move my name move for your my mom. Name for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my name for your mom. I know they involved. It's not me. He's not me. You Jesus, Jesus will be like Papa. Can, Jesus himself will be like Papa. I cannot intercede for that one again, Papa. Baby. But you are a giver. You are a giver. I know. <laughs> so, honestly, honestly, like giving God thanks, sometimes we think like we only have to, like I've said, sometimes we think like we only have to thank God or praise God for the things He has done or the things. And then we are so ungrateful that we feel like he has not done anything. Then I, I begin to ask, uh, that you are alive, uh, is it not the reason enough to thank God? That you are healthy, uh, is it not the reason enough to thank God, to praise God? That you are uh, breathing air, you are taking oxygen for free. People are in the hospital buying oxygen. You know? There are oh. some people who died because they could not get oxygen. They needed oxygen. They had to pay for it because they could not afford it, they died. You are alive. You are Reading for free. Princess, princess. You remember when the Lord said she give someone an assignment to write what he's grateful for now? Just three things each day. That thing took like two weeks to get that person to even get to the point of even just saying that I am even grateful for even you coming into my life. That forgetting that even for just being alive, you should be so it was like gratitude was not even in their bloodstream from 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 so like it's they don't so see any reason. Everything that they have there. They are entitled. It feels like they are entitled. They, You're they supposed keep asking to for more. Me. They <sighs> keep asking for more. Oh my keep asking for God. more. God said, okay, first ignore them. By the time they will come to their senses, then they will be very grateful for no, what I, they have. I know. Oh, mommy, Agnes. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you. And she says, God has not and will never fail us. Of course. Ah, God amen. can never, ever fail us. He can never fail us. Happy Sunday.
this is just the day of the Lord has made and I'm rejoicing right in it. Oh yeah. I mean, just the fact that you're alive today. There are lots of people that wanted to see this day. They couldn't. Like, what did you do specially? What, what did you do specially that you're living today? It's the grace of God. And I'm sure it's because he has a purpose for your life. And so he's still keeping you alive. So you should be grateful for that already. Mm -hmm. I, a man of God, if a man of God said, okay, if you, do, if you don't even believe that God has done anything for you, can you just praise God for God that mm -hmm. he created the world, that he created the mm -hmm. universe? Like, start looking at the things he did. The things he has done for creation, not for you. So you yeah. don't believe he has done anything for you. That's fine. No. Let's just pretend that God has not done anything for you. But you've come, you've seen a world that is beautifully created. Don't you think you should praise the person who created the, this world? Like everything is in place. The sun is so rightly positioned that we don't get burnt. The waters are so rightly positioned that we don't freeze. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Sometimes eh, I love nature a lot. So sometimes I sit and I listen to the, I'm trying to listen to the melody of the birds. Like, wow. It, it's so nice. You know how they say the birds and um, creation worships God? Like, mm. it's real. If, if you're somebody who loves nature, you would uh -huh. notice that creation really worships Just God. Trust Honestly, me, trust me. creation worships trust me. God. Sometimes I yeah, used to, I it's not that I had really stopped that thing. I used to go and stand outside and just look at the stars and just look at the clouds. I'm sure some people used to think I was just crazy. Like, I just look at it and it's so beautiful. I mean, or like, how did someone just create this kind of thing? Like, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful for you to think that it just appeared out of, nowhere like <laughs> who even does that like princess just the fact that me i am now is now that me i'm experiencing my own life not old testament time i say i thank god every day when i read leviticus <laughs> princess you have made me to discover <laughs> some books in that bible when i, I read that leviticus that. i'm like hey papa god oh they don't cut my big toe my left ear my all kind of pattern <laughs> I worship you, Papa. I glorify you. <laughs> the rules and regulations, oh. and they used to follow them to the letter, to the T. Oh. You lie. You did just fall down and die. You still, ah. you're just. I mean, even Miriam was not spared. Even Miriam was not spared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Funny that they were, they think that they were even commenting about and talking yes. about. There's Moses, somebody actually, made a mistake. Moses <laughs> actually made a mistake. He actually did wrong. So the thing they were talking about is not as if it was, it was, it was a uh, a good thing that they were lying about or they were communicating about or something. It was really something wrong that Moses did. But say, God say, who told you to talk about my servant? Who, who do you write at will? Sometimes I understand with power, touch not my anointed. And Mommy Agnes says, on point, I love the outdoors just to admire God's marvelous creation. Oh my God, we are just this nature people. There are a lot of us here. And she also says that my point one daily is God's breath in my lungs. So I praise him as long as his breath is given me. I mean, uh -huh, uh -huh. how do people not even see that as a reason mm. to thank God? How? How is it even possible? I know. You are alive. You're breathing. You're healthy. Mm. My day one every day is that day. Thank God that I'm alive. First, I'm living. I have health. Thank if God for COVID did not, If COVID did not teach us a lesson, then... Mm, I'm sure. telling you. I don't know when we're going to learn again. Mm -mm, Honestly. Mm -mm. Ah. So, that my, that my same son... Each morning we have this gratitude practice. So his only standard, what are you grateful for? For life, health, and providence. That's his <laughs> standard thing. <laughs> life, health, and providence. Life, health, and providence. Get, get him up, you say the same thing. Yes. It covers it's everything. Not, at yes. least you know that God provides for you every day. You know that you wake up every day. It's not a right. Because some people just feel like, oh, because I wake up every day, I'm normally supposed to wake up every day. As in, as who? 
<laughs> As who? The people that did not get up, what did they not do? Or what mm -hmm. did they do? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's not like that. We are not entitled to nothing. God just gives us. <laughs> Everybody saying it, Old Testament time, no meal. Honestly, when I was reading, when I read the Old Testament day, and I see some things that they used to do, I'm like, God, <laughs> you really saved us so. Hey, mm. I am grateful that I'm in this generation. <laughs> That's the more reason why people say we should glorify him until <laughs> Old Testament people were holding on to the promise that he was coming to come and save them until they died. They didn't see it. We are here leaving it and we're still giving all kinds of flimsy excuses. It's painful. It's painful. Sometimes I sit and just try to imagine how God is feeling. Sometimes when I make some funny mistakes um, um sometimes when people were supposed to do something together like me and somebody is supposed to do something together and then the person feels i i just know how i feel so imagine god god also has emotions he feels oh. he feels hurt. Bet, he feels no me no fear hurt, hurt. he feels hurt he says i'm a jealous god when you're serving another god he's not happy about it he wept when he was here he cried he was angry when he saw the people he has emotions princess we don't princess anyhow, anyhow. princess and to think that sometimes when some people are even trying you know to serve god to worship him and all of that some other people oh, from that kingdom or oh, yeah, yeah people they'll be coming against coming after you they don't even know that they're not coming after you now they're coming they're after coming the one who god sent god. you and oh, he yeah. is so powerful, like he can even just blow you off. Like I that. know. Okay. I'm telling you, there was this time that I used to pray, like, you know, that kind of thing that I always had this thing that when people start giving me a hard time, I just hand them over to God. I'm like, God, deal with them. Because me, I'll not even I'll not even deal with them justly. So God deal with them. There was one time eh, I was ready to hand over one of my persons to God. And then I looked at the person's situation again. And me says, I finally beg God, say, God, even when you want to do here, Job, like, you know, that kind of be nice. Honestly, no one I'm like, I'm like Tem God, Tempire tem 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 justice no, with mercy. Hey. Papa, Tempire justice with mercy. <laughs> Yes, God, mercy. Oh, when you want to do what there, use mercy. Be merciful as you are dealing with her. I'm like, oh my God. See, honestly, so because I know what God can do because He's a just God, and so if you truly are deserving of the sanction of the discipline, He's going to go all out for your sakes. He would. It's the same God that the earth was opening and swallowing people. Hey. <laughs> What are you saying? God doesn't change you. God has not, not changed. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So we have to be very, very careful. Like, we have to be careful. We have to learn how to be grateful. It's just that we, we've, I don't know how we grew up. In my house, we have to learn to say thank you. Hey. Sometimes, if you don't say thank you, my father will not give you. If you don't I remember a certain, a certain friend of mine, like a, a, a girl, one of like my smalls, something so small like i've given people crazy things like crazy big things and they feel like they deserve it like they're entitled to it i said i gave this girl i was even feeling uncomfortable to give her that small oh. if not that i'm obeying the holy spirit holy spirit say give i said papa this thing is too small let me just wait when i've had a holy spirit say now me i tell you say give the picking the money i gave money woman of god that picking thank me so that shame <laughs> I went and verified with the person who sent the money to her that are you sure you sent her by this amount? <laughs> he said, ah, is that not what I was supposed to give you? Is the amount I sent? I mean, I, I had to rectify to be sure. I said, Mom, now this money they give you the thank me day so she told me that you cannot understand. I now felt I now experienced what I used to do to people because God always makes people just to give me some things in the time that they i mean that god when i say god is on point and on he doesn't make mistakes he's never taking god is always on time god is never late never 
I, I don't know about you, but in my life, I've experienced it time without number. God is never late. The thing is, we are wanting to put God in our time. God is not limited by this time. That this our time. He's not limited by it. So if we let Learn how to walk in God's timing. We're not going to be anxious. We're not going to be worried. We're not going to be fearful. I mean, get thank me so there. Tell my sister, princess, you go still as add that to a one and a gear. I mean, human being, oh, me, me, normal human being, person, thank me. I provoke for one gear more. Then you are talking about God. Are you serious? Mm. Me, who is a normal human being with my frailties. And all those other things, I beg. See, yeah, we need to learn to thank God. An attitude of gratitude is very, is very, is very awesome. It's very, I don't know how to, I don't even know the word to use. Gratitude is a really great thing, and it's very important. It's very important. Mommy has says, um, "What is that?" Okay. She says that's a great trio. <laughs> Life, health, and providence. Tell your son I'm passing that on. <laughs> to share with your grandson and others. Oh my God. You see? That's it. It's a great one. He says, Temper your justice with mercy. True. Hmm. Now my kind prayer that when people talk of karma, honestly, like I'm like, God, I know that this one eh, this one has done bad. Like a beck, eh? Just don't overdo it. <laughs> Do it so <laughs> much. <laughs> you know that he's such a powerful God and full yeah. of majesty. I said so. So he's also a gentleman kind of. He's not going to yeah. be just Old oh, Testament time has passed. God is not that kind of uh, no. He's so nice, like princess. It's like you know he 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 made that covenant with uh, no one. Uh, that was not yeah, going to destroy it all again. Cool. And then now he even got to the point and. Uh, at Malachi, when the people were just like out of complete order, he abandoned the first for like 400 years. So now when he decided now to, you know, incarnate himself, he was like, in short, last, last, no, I cannot destroy again. So let me just go down and see. And then when he came down, down, down and saw, he was like, okay, let me just keep loving them. Okay, okay. The ones who really yeah. acknowledge me, I will be with them 100%. The ones who are not, I will still show them my grace. If they just say, Papa, but all in all, mm, I created them. What can I do? Mercy, mercy. And when we Agnes said, little is much when God is in need. Yeah, I know the song. Little is much when God is in need. Level no for all of pain. That's a crown and you can win it if you go in Jesus' name. Okay. And it's true. There's also the scripture that says that who is, if, if, they give you little and you don't manage it well i'm paraphrasing that's not exactly how it is yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's saying yeah. that if they give you little you don't manage it well who is going to give you more like who does that nobody princess, princess do you know yeah. why i was sent to where i was sent this afternoon no. he said he said he wanted me to go and see how this person cannot take care of their little and the person wants a big thing you know a whole center something Oh my if God. you cannot keep this small place clean of things that when you were even giving, you know, not even that you bought with your money, if you cannot mm -hmm. take care of them and this small place, is it a big center that you want that you can manage? I know. I know. That's what that from he told me. That's what he told me. So I told them there and then that, okay, now, ah, because when I had seen, I was like, so you want them to come and see this thing? He said, yes, because there's a message. Give him this message. And so I said, it's not for me. I don't sleep here. I had no plan of coming here if you care you clean the place if you care if you don't clean it you're not doing it for me i will not want to come here again a second time because only this i know i don't understand like just the little things god is giving us little assignments he's giving us little things to do we don't want to do them we think we'll be able to do the big one i remember somebody mm. was saying that oh they cannot give tight at this stage because their money is too small Lie, you lie. If you have one million, you no go get tights. Mm -hmm. If you have one thousand, you cannot give tight. You have one million, you no go get tights. Mm -hmm. I can assure you. It will, it yeah. will still be small for you now. It will still be small for you. Mm -hmm. When your responsibility you should have added that is what one million. It will still be small. You will procrastinate and procrastinate. And you will never give the tights. 
it's from the little when you when you get diligent and say lord i will do with the little that i have and then he begins to see how you're diligent with the little and then he begins to give you grace wow Prince, really one day one day i saw a sister i know her situation right i know how much she earns i know her situation and i know what they were going to at that particular time yet she gave tight that sunday that's my heart melt i know i was like i was like god bless her and the lord is doing it small small oh my goodness i was just like like shame homie don't mean i say shame homie i do but i was just like you see it is not you're not giving to that pastor you're giving to god god if the pastor can they take and squash it anyhow it's between them and god me i will give yeah finish your own part god mm. see i always say this thing about tithe eh, because people have all kinds of excuses to give for not tithing and all that i always say this thing about tithe that when god was teaching me about tithe and that's why a personal revelation is good personal conviction is good and you only have a personal conviction when you have a relationship with god and you ask questions from god and you want to learn and you want to grow that's when he teaches you the first time that god warned me about tithing when i used to complain about tithing, like why are we giving tithe oh the pastors will take it and chop it and blah 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 the, <laughs> so he carried me to church like we went to church on a certain sunday and all of a sudden he started showing me things i was first of all wondering like why is god showing me these things Every day I come to church, I see cheers. So why are you showing me cheers? Like every day I come to church, I see the fans, I see the aces, I see the drums, I see, and it's like, oh, nice. So you see them, really. You expect the pastor to remove his own pocket money from his own job and buy these cheers. So you sit and buy the okay. drums and buy the things okay. in church. Have you? Enjoy. With the electricity of the building you people are renting. I be from his mm. own pocket. Eh? Tight. Mm. How much are you giving for tight first? Like I was so embarrassed. <laughs> after, he had taught me, after he had taught me that hard way, I started giving, but I was still like struggling, you know, like struggling to give it. And then he now taught me the real deal. He told me this. <clears throat> he said, Princess, tight is your seed. And anybody who doesn't sow during seed season will not ripple. Oh, oh. To you. If you sow, you go harvest during harvest season if you chop your seed you shall not have this and you shall not have food the next season hey no money tell me i mean like literally eh? if i collect money like income somebody dash me money it feels like i cannot use the money if i've not removed my tithe and giving it feels like if i use say for example somebody gives me a thousand dollars my tithe is 100 100 dollars if I've not removed the one hundred dollars, I feel like I cannot even use money from there. It just feels like I'm using God's money. There will still be nine hundred dollars. So, even if I have to buy something for like fifty dollars, if I never yet move my tithe, my heart be caught. It is that serious. <laughs> I don't understand. So when people begin to fight some things, it's because they have not had a personal conviction. So they are tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. That's just what i believe that's just what i know and so i'm like i always say that i'm grateful to god for my father in the lord who who was pushing us and pressuring us to study the word of god it used to not be funny but when we grew older plus when we started traveling out some of these places you don't see churches you don't know like they don't know them god and all those things so the god with they know it you just didn't have a light rope so small time the rope will cut as in so now that kind <laughs> if you were coming and you didn't know god by now you should have backslid it now like in some of these places they don't know them god though. you should have backslid it so personal conviction is of the essence when god told me that though sing your song from now to tomorrow about tights sure i have my personal conviction my, 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 not my own is true personal conviction and, yeah. and i have envelopes i have envelopes in my cupboard where i put that, and i don't touch i've disciplined myself to the point where i don't touch i put there i don't mind oh yeah, my i don't mind me God. it is like it is anyway. a serious i have a personal thing with god a personal covenant and since i made that covenant with god i made that covenant with god i mean that thing eh, i've not lacked financially ever even when they scammed me, even when they stole my money, even when 
I said there was a certain four or five months. I don't know the miracle that God did, or I call it a magic. I went through five months without having money. Like, hey, this person will just buy this one. Normally, things that I normally used to buy, some other person will just buy it for me. So I didn't have financial wala. Some other person will just send me some things. This person will just, I'm like, wait, God, now what for you? Like, you're really amazing like this. I mean, that's how it is, oh, people of God. That's how it is. Full of majesty, God. Internet, behave yourself, oh. Oh, uh, my internet wanted to play first one on me. I said, internet, behave yourself. I we are talking no. about the king of glory. We are talking about the king of glory. So behave I yourself. We enter the matter. <laughs> yeah. So we need to learn how to be grateful to God. We need to learn how to thank God. We need to learn how to appreciate God for the things that he does for us. We, we have to learn it. It's a good thing. Appreciating God is a good thing. Thanking God is a good thing. Sometimes we make it feel like it's a chore. Like it's some... <sighs> but you come and see us, eh? When is our papa or mama in church? Or oh, mm. Dick, you know? Come and see how people be lying down and thanking and sleeping on the floor. Hey, God. When will we stop being men pleasers and being God pleasers? when will we stop being men pleasers and be god pleasers i'm not saying don't honor your your papa i'm not saying don't honor your mama hey please don't don't misinterpret me i'm not saying they misinterpret you so what your dickens and your leader i'm not saying don't honor them to the creation more than to the creator we cannot be said the bible encourages you to honor them yes but when you honor them to the creator Huh. Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's a sad scenario. It is really mm. sad. How we would so endorse human beings, but we cannot endorse God. Mm -mm. And if God was walking through these people, is God was walking through these people. So it's funny how we can so endorse them, we can so praise them, we can so sing their praise and all, but we can't sing the praise of God. We can't dance for God. We can't just worship God. We're only Auntie, concerned about if, what he has not done, what he has not done, what he has not done. Auntie, if you want to even believe in God, sometimes you hear about the God of this person, the God of your mama or the God of your papa. Oh I'm my like, God. God is God without those people. So I'm not saying the God of my bitch or the God of... That time when in prayer you can you can count on your covenant and you don't, you don't know if they even have open... Frankly speaking, best thing, just call the God. God, you know, the one that you know has been proven from time in memorial. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah everything. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus, do that. Yeah. Seek, seek him like that. The yeah. veil was torn. Yeah. So, the, the, the Bible yeah. says that this, 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 this supposed to. The God of this, this people. Yeah. These people are giving to us for our edification. So if they're not, they're not edifying you in the ways of the Lord, there's no point. We have to be very careful. careful. That is why it is very, very important to remind ourselves. Because who sits on the throne? Whose voice is that powerful? Who gives power? Even to those people, who gives them power? Have we not heard of someone who were up to that and they fell down tomorrow? What happened? Oh, yeah. Where did their power go to? <clears throat> Some who were up today and we heard that they were taking um, things from marine things. So when you're talking ah. to their God, you know the God you're talking to Abby? <laughs> In this our generation, no, uh, be careful the kinds of prayers you pray. God of this, God, why? Why? Why can't you just go of the God I'm serving? God of Isaac, Abraham, Jacob. Those people who are sure, the Bible itself puts it there so you can use. But the one that we're bringing up, God help us, give unto the Lord glory that is due to his name. It says, um, there is a song. I think it's verse three. No, 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 no. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. What should? Uh, yeah, that's verse two. 
Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Give Him the glory due to His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Give Him the glory due to His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Give Him the glory due to His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Give Him the glory due to His name. God deserves it. He deserves it. Like, it is due to His name. And He truly deserves it. He has earned it. It's not like what I'm just telling you, oh, worship God because for nothing, nothing. He has earned it. Check his track, track record. Check Princess. track record. Princess. Hey, if I even want to say that, okay, what he has just done, I cannot I even finish know. saying it. You know, what he had done, <laughs> what he has just done, like it is exceeding, it is like. Slap, slap, take and take and take and take and You want to see more? I'm eating a papa. But wait, wait, my digest is one first. Like. <laughs> when I thought that he has done too much, oh, oh, oh Jesus did it again. See, Smash knows how to bring the thing to reality. Like, you think God is done with you, and he's saying, Daughter, I ain't started yet. Just brace when yourself. I, when I was thinking that it should be by June. So, you know how we are so foolish, we human. No, no, let me not say we are so foolish. But sometimes our plans say, would you say now to plan? You calculate, you plan. I was like, you know me, as I like to write, I'm very organized, yeah. meticulous. So I'm thinking that, okay, I will write. By the end of January, I will have finished writing. Then by February, I will do this. Then by March, and then... And then go Just, just, yeah, also, bam. That's Boom. it. You'll be fine. I Boom. made... Um, this guy built an ark by himself. Today is February 26. Today is February 26. Half of the year is already achieved. I Only know. in February 26. I'm I like, know. God, now, oh. That's God for you. God, now, you. Oh. And, and, and that's the thing. You see, sometimes, technically, yeah, we take God's glory. Not like we literally say, oh, I'm taking God's glory. No. No. We take God's glory as in, you see how you're very meticulous and you're very good at calculating and strategizing? Mm -hmm. God, no one strategizing because when somebody no. looks at that, they'll be like, oh, Minister Mark is a smart person. She strategizes. Mm -hmm. This is Minister mm -hmm. Mark. Mm -hmm. When the person look the one, where you know do mm -hmm. nothing and you confidently knew you did nothing, they go, no say, this can only be God. <laughs> That's how it works. And then princess, look at this one. The time when I needed something and I thought I knew somebody who is somewhere, 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 and reach out to those people. That I want to even saw a certain senator in some town back in 2015. I wanted to do just a small conference. So they made me go and see. I just came back from Bush and I had money. So I was just going around seeing senators, seeing these people pumping, pumping, pumping. That money can't finish like play. What happened? Nothing. When God told me, hey, first calm down, calm down on that thing, I quickly calmed down. I remember I was in August 2015. Me, myself, I calm down. Now, like this, who do I know in any high place? I know. Princess? You know, the, I know. He just told me, you know that, go, and talk to this, go and talk to this person in church, see into his situation. Did I know that was the person, my destiny helper, the person that will connect me? I know. No. Obedience. Pop, 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 like that. Goodness gracious, princess. God does things. When God mm -hmm. sends you away, when God sends you on a mission, he backs you up. And when he backs you up, eh, there is clear evidence that this is God's backing. Oh, oh this is God. Oh. You in nobody, it. Oh, nobody can doubt. Nobody, nobody in my family, nobody can doubt. Nobody. Nobody. There's no big name involved. God started making me travel. My family members knew, say, yes, they became the same God. As in, they knew. It was clear. That was my biological elder sister. When I was going through my wilderness experience, she told me clear. It's not like she was grumbling about it or she said it to somebody or something. She told me to my face that if this serving God is like this, Prince, I used to know you. You used to have like everything. You used to be all like all there, all there. You had this, your great job. They were paying you and stuff. And then all of a sudden you started God, God, God with all this, your kind of thing. You are now at a place that they're not paying you. You're walking around and selling peanut burger and donuts. And you're saying, if not so this, your God, there, I know go serve them. She told me straight 
to my face. <laughs> when I started traveling, eh? <laughs> oh my God, the can Nicodemusly apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it is so clear that is God, and you cannot even. I remember when God told me that He would never use my certificate. Like my my house flooded, my certificate got bad. I was freaking out. I was panicking, and the Holy Spirit told me that <clears throat> I'll use it to do a lot of things, but those certificates they have no use to me. So I asked God that, are you saying that I should not graduate? God said, no, be me, I talk to That's not what I said to you. I just said, <laughs> I'm going to go use the paper then. I will use you. And, and he has been true to it till date. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't remember like having to bring my, my, my certificates and put them at the forefront before I get some things. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I get them before, maybe after they'll ask, okay, since you said you have a, this degree and this degree, bring your stuff. It's not like that one that they will tell you that, oh, you have to bring all your documents. They check your documents if they're okay before you are qualified. Mm -mm. I mean, God has been true to it from, I mean, the time he said it to me. Then you know it's God. You know it's God. It's, when people talk to me and I, oh, princess, I'm like, you guys cannot understand. <laughs> it's me who knows the thing that me and God were doing here. So I know that they, this, all of it, all of it is God. Hey, I thought of me like, like this. It's not even there. You cannot find it. I said, this is God. And when God sent you on a mission, he backs you up. That's what people fail to understand. Because when someone sees you doing that same thing, they also want to follow and do, ah, this Minister Magda, I know. This one that we're playing together in the quarter when we're young. This one that went to the same school. Me and she done for one bench. I seen. I'm even better than her. What makes her think that she can do this thing? Anyway, she can do it. I can do it too. Then they go enter the hook. He hook for their neck. He choked them. You not get nobody back. You got no send you. You no go back you. When God says send you, he back you up. And that's when some people now start saying you're using juju. You're using witchcraft. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Why isn't Jesus to do? Princess, before I go, somebody is waiting for me there. I oh, want to just yeah. say something which might be a little on the side, but I want you, you usually say it, and I just want to say it as quoting the verse where I have seen it. Somebody once said, Stop saying God of thunder. But this is it here in verse 3. The voice of the Lord is over the water, the God of glory thunders. Yeah, the Lord over many water, the God of glory thunders. So, what does it mean by he, he thunders? Does it not mean that he, he himself he can when his voice he, his voice is so strong that he can move everything? That means that he can create thunder anyhow. So, when we yeah. say God of thunder, is that necessarily a bad thing or it can mean God be so powerful? When they say this, this person stands like thunder, it means that this person, if he shake place, though, no. the voice so, of God is like thunder, it's somewhere in another scripture. And if somebody, somebody, you know, these people who would like to say that I am, I've been in the faith and all those kind of things. And it just made me think of you, how you said one time somebody said things until you were like, no, I don't think that this is what my Bible says, you know. What? I was like, yeah. mm, I have to stop saying amen to just anything some people say, oh, thank you oh, speaking. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> even the prayer points, you know, some, some prayer points that are me. I told you once now, I mean, I don't pray me every prayer point that I hear somewhere. Me too. So I don't pray God every prayer point. I'm very God, careful God, prayer God, points. God, God take, see, what's your own thing in your heart? Pray for that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Princess, come oh, go. I'm coming. Thank you. Bye, Princess. Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye to your guest. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that was Minister Mark, guys. Thank you so much, Minister Mark, for always coming, always being present, always participating. And we always say that you can always request to come live as well. It's not only particular people that should come live. You can also request to come live and be a part of the program and, and actually voice your 
your thoughts and what you understand by a particular scripture or maybe even your quiet time because you can come in and you're not sure of the chapter that we're doing today and then you can just go ahead and tell us um <clears throat> maybe your quiet time or maybe the, the the message that god gave you in church or maybe like you were going out throughout the day that's why I love nature a lot because God teach me, teaches me a lot of things through nature and he will just show me some things and he'll be like, okay, you see how this one is this way? You see how this tree is withered? You see how this tree is still growing? You see how this one is still flourishing and all? Like the cactus plant, the cactus plant is like almost year round, you know? It can grow in the desert. You plant another plant there, it's never going to be able to grow. So if you put the person in their natural habitat, they'll function properly. They'll function properly but sometimes we expect people to function we expect somebody let me put it this way i'm not by any means insulting anybody we expect a fish person to function perfectly like a land person on land it's not possible no matter how much effort the fish puts as long as they're on land they will not be able to function they might even put in much more energy and much more effort than the person who is a land person but they will still never be able to win why because that's not their natural habitat so stop forcing people to be who they're not let people function in their areas of calling let people function in their areas of gifting and it entails you too as an individual to know to know your area of calling to know your area of gifting it is important because when you know you divert all your energies towards it and regardless of what people are saying you won't be moved oh my god it took me it took me like all kinds of pleading and asking god to just change this whole thing that he told me to do i didn't want to come and be doing a chapter a day i was encouraging people that's okay and the encouragement has chapters and scriptures in it not like an entire chapter it could be a verse it could be a message just a, a, a tiny wincy bitsy message in a particular chapter but not doing a chapter a day come on like we have been coming live since 2021 it can only be god people of god i tell you the truth there are some days i wake up i feel like five minutes to a chapter a day i don't still feel like i want to go live and then for some reason, some strange reason, energy is just going to come from somewhere like strange is just going to come. And I'm here and I'm smiling and laughing and we're talking and you guys don't even know what I've been through before I came on here today. Like, you know, because it's God, it's God. If it was me, I'm not even really sure would I be able to do one year. Honestly speaking, if it was me there is just no way would have done one year because when i was doing my regular videos that i was just encouraging people i was posting every tuesday which is once a week sometimes i still missed some tuesdays in the once a week and, and that was me even recording those videos and posting them this one i have to come live every single day we have been doing that from 2021 till today you think it's prince says then you don't know the god i'm serving honestly speaking it can only be god like there is no iota of me it has nothing nothing at all to do with journalism nothing believe me you can have the great voice but if you don't have the strength if you don't have the courage if you don't have <clears throat> the grace to come on here you will not do it you will not do it it will not last I can promise you that. But when you know the one that is backing you up, <laughs> sometimes you even be shocked at how he's using you to do the work, honestly speaking. And it says, the voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunder it. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the word of the Lord is full of majesty. This is David praising God. <clears throat> this is how you praise God. The whole of this chapter, David was just praising. He's not even praising all of God. He's praising just God's voice. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. 
the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is so strong that it can break the cedars of Lebanon. You know what the cedars of Lebanon are? They were the strongest trees that were used and they were used to build some of these big and great temples and stuff like that because that was the best wood that could be that would actually be able to hold and make the building really get the, 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 the form that is supposed to be. And the voice of the Lord can break the cedars. Hey, then you should, you sure should be careful about the voice. The Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Those were the strongest and the most powerful trees or, or wood that was existing in that time. Those were the most powerful of them. And the voice of the Lord can actually break them. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting, right? And it says, He maketh them also skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian, like, like young unicorns. Is that not? Yeah. Like young unicorns. He maketh them also skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like young unicorns. That's what it says. And the voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. Hey, can you divide fire? When, when the Bible says some of these things, eh, we need to sit down and imagine. Like we try to picture. That, 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 that's, that's what I like about being creative. Huh? Because when you're reading a book and the Lord is giving you pictures of what it is, or you're reading the Bible and he's giving you a mental picture, you will know how great the thing is. You will know how beautiful the thing is. Imagine in your mind, fire being divided, like, like something that, that divides fire. Like, uh, it has to be powerful. It cannot be normal. It, it can, cannot be normal. The voice of the Lord shaked the wilderness. The Lord sh shaked the wilderness of Kadesh. You know, they're calling all these big places. Those are the places that everybody knew. And there were places that they had made a name. The wilderness of Kadesh was so big. It was so vast. The voice of the Lord can shake even that wilderness. Then what do you think the voice of the Lord cannot do for you? Because that, David is not just telling us these things because he just wants us to hear and know. He is giving us a track record of what the voice of the Lord can do. And so when the voice of the Lord is coming to you, you should take it seriously. Because the voice of the Lord can do all these things. So if the voice of the Lord comes to you, princess, I have said that you are going to be a great nation. I should believe it because the voice of the Lord can do and undo. That's why we, are, we should be grateful that we have things to fall back on and use as, <clears throat> as reference. The people of who had nothing, we have reference. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the Bible. We have concordances. We have all kinds of things that are available to us. And the clico. Sometimes we don't even need the hard copy. Even me, even though me, I'm the hard copy kind of person. It's a click. And we're giving excuses. May the Lord have mercy on us, honestly. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to carve and discovereth the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. Everyone. Everyone. Says, if you don't praise me, I'll raise stones to praise me. God forbid that in my time, stones are praising God. God forbid that in my time, stones are praising God. Hey! Why am I for who believe that that kind of thing happen? Stones to praise God while I'm alive. Then God should just take me already now. God, in fact, in Jamaica, don't blow trumpet already. How by now? Stones praise God while I'm alive. It will be a sad thing. And it says, The Lord seated upon the flood. Yea, the Lord seated king forever. He is the king of kings. 
Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong in mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this king of glory? The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So, David has already told us what the voice of the Lord can do. And then he comes right on here and says, the Lord will give strength and he will bless you. And you will doubt it. After all the characteristics of the person who is promising you a blessing, who is promising you strength, after all his characteristics have been listed out like that, you still doubt it? Then we don't know how to stop your case. As in, <clears throat> your case is a very sad one. We cannot help you. But anyways, God can help you. <laughs> it is well, though. It is well with the righteous. We have to learn to trust God. We have to learn to depend on God. We have to learn to rely on God. And when we do, he would have a track record so much so that we would have every reason to praise him. And even if we get to that place where I said, let's pretend that, yes, God has not done anything to us. Praise God for who God is, for being the creator of the universe, for being the savior of the world, for being the lion of the tribe of Judah, for being the mighty man in battle, for being the great physician, for being the healer, for being a provider, for being a banner. Just praise him for all those things. And I said, Sometimes it's also because we don't believe that God has been all of this to us and more. But of course, you might not really understand God as a healer because you've not really been sick. And but you should be thanking God because that means you have divine health. So either way, you should be thanking and praising God. That you have divine health doesn't mean that you are entitled to it. It's your right. That you've never been sick. That's the divine help. You should thank God. That you've never suffered lack. That's divine provision. You should thank God. That you have been in so much lack, so much so that God provided in a grand style. You should thank God for being a provider. They say all these names that we know him by, Jare, Nisi, Elohim, Elroy, you know, Sikenu, El Ashid, you know, all these names we know him, there were things he did for the children of Israel, and then they, begin, they began to give him these names. So you see me like this. I call him Jehovah Kamakan because he has done all of these things to me and more. Mm -hmm. The ones that I don't even have the right name to give him for. He is the God of all, all creation. And David says, this same God who is the creator of the universe has said he will give you strength and he will bless you. Then you even have the power to doubt it. I don't understand. Like, why? What, what is making you doubt it? Let's learn to praise God. Let's have an attitude of gratitude. Let's be grateful. Gratitude precedes more giving, more receiving. That's what happens when you're grateful. The persons you're grateful to are ginger to do more for you, are ginger to give you more. It is the truth. You have to believe it because it is true. Okay, guys. So... Happy Sunday once again, and this is where we're wrapping up with a chapter idea for today. If you have something to add, we'll be delighted to have you add it. You can still add it in the comment section, though, and we'll be very grateful to read. That comment that you're trying to hold back, maybe it's something that is a message that God has for me, and I'll not be able to see it until you write it in the comment section. We all will not be able to receive it and get blessed until maybe you request to come live and speak. So please, let's always endeavor to request to come live and speak. You can also come live with just your audio. You can kind of cover your camera or block your camera out, and then you just speak. We're also going to be very grateful. And also you can comment. Don't forget to share too. So I'm grateful to 
Mommy Agnes Fomokong for coming in today. I'm grateful to Minister Mark for coming in always, every single time that she has an opportunity. Sometimes she gets so busy, but she still takes out time to come and be here for us. We are grateful for that. And we pray that God is also going to bless you continuously as you keep doing the work that he assigns you to do. We also are grateful that Mr. Numbi Ghana was here today. We are grateful for all the amazing people who showed up here on a chapter a day. May the good Lord bless you all. <clears throat> so today I have this burden. I don't know when it got to me, but it was like maybe in the middle of my day. I got this burden that we should pray for. We should pray for. I, I don't know how to call it, but I'll put it this way. We should pray for um, co-parenting. We should pray for people who are in a co-parenting state. It's not an easy state. It's not an easy place to be. You know, it has a whole lot that happens within. Sometimes you see them all smiling and all smiles and all happy, but you don't. You just don't know exactly what they are going through. So I have that burden that we should pray for this set of people today. So that's what we're praying for today on a chapter a day. So go ahead, wherever you're seated or wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please let's come together and pray for those who are co-parenting. I have a couple of friends who are co-parenting and it's not very funny. <clears throat> we see them doing all these and they're doing their best. And of course, they're human, so you don't expect them to just not feel the way they feel. So we pray that God is going to give them the grace, is going to give them the strength to be able to go through this and go through it smoothly, still glorifying him and serving him totally and completely. So if you're right here, let's join together and pray. Father, we come before. For you, O oh God, we bring your daughters and your sons before your throne of grace, O oh God. All those who are doing co-parenting, O oh Father, we pray that you're going to empower them. You're going to give them the grace. You're going to give them the strength. You're going to give them the wisdom to be able to bring the children up in the way that they should grow, so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to give them the strength and the serenity, O oh God, to do the co-parenting in a beautiful way, O oh God, to do it in a peaceful way, O oh God, to do it in a non-violent way, oh God. Father, that you're going to give them all that it takes, oh God, to be able to take care of these children, to be able to bring these children in a way, oh God, that they can do, oh God, the way that you want them to do. Father, I pray, oh God, that you're going to give them the strength and the wisdom and the guidance, oh God, on how to be able to bring up these children, oh God, in the right way. Lord, that they'll be able, oh God, on how to help these children grow, oh God, regardless of the situation that they're in right now, oh God, that you will help them, oh God, to be able to put their differences aside as parents, oh God, for the sake of the children, oh God, and bring up the children in the right way. Father, I pray that you're going to em you're going to empower them. You're going to strengthen them. You're going to release your grace upon their lives, oh God. Father, that you're going to give them all the courage that is necessary, oh God, to keep keeping on, to go on, to keep striving, to keep yielding, to keep resisting, to keep struggling, to keep doing all that they have to do, oh God, to still serve you and do all they have to do. Lord, even when they don't feel like it, Lord, I pray that you're going to still empower them to be able to do it and do it right. Lord, I know that you're a faithful father. I know if there are people to pray, there is a God to answer. So Lord, I know you're going to answer us in a big way. Lord, the enemy is fighting families a lot because he knows that a great society begins with a great family. So he's fighting the family unit with all he's got, but he has missed it because we all are going to get it right. Even those who are co-parenting are going to get it right. Father, we are grateful. We know that you are faithful father. We know that you don't just give us things to pray for or to call upon you for, for no reason. Lord, we know you have a purpose. And as we've called on you, Lord, to address this matter, to fix this matter, 
to get it mended, to get it repaired, to get it fixed, to get it restored. Lord, we know you're going to do something really special in the life of your sons and daughters all over the world, oh God, that you're going to make it work for them perfectly. And the children are going to be awesome kids. Awesome kids. Thank you, Lord God, because I know you always hear and answer us in jesus mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving and all the saints shall say a big amen amen <clears throat> and mr max says her princess i tried to push for that to cope for that co-parenting model when i came back to play in 2015 gang gang <laughs> now that the boys are big it's very civil. It's very civilized. Let's pray for them. In the, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, woman of God, like, ah, sometimes when I hear how some of my friends talk, like, sometimes what they're going through, they just have this whole difficult person who is just, to me, I would call it selfish or self-centered, and it's all about them. At least put us side your differences with the person and even for the children's sakes do something sensible you're just it's all about you when you want when you feel like when you don't feel like and uh, and we're humans there's so much a human being can just be able to handle so god 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 has to really come through god has to come through for 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 people who are like Oh, you have to be with this. You have to be with your dad today. You have to be with your mom tomorrow. You have to be with this person today. Like God really needs to give wisdom for for um, these people to do to do it right. To do it right, and the kids will turn out right in Jesus' name. We'll probably also have to pray for the kids one of these days. So, guys, thank you so much. It has been a beautiful time. On a chapter a day, I hope you're going to be with us tomorrow. It's going to be Psalms 30. I kind of have a feeling that we're really going to be on holidays when we're do doing Psalms 119. Um, even for some extended families who get in the way, they are pushing the children, not the other. I'm telling you, it is just so painful. It is really, really painful. It is just so painful. You're very welcome, Minister Mag. You're so, so welcome. And thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all that you do for us, for me as a person, for every other person. May the good Lord really, really bless your good heart. Thank you so, so much. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. <laughs> get to like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live it has been your favorite girl princess peace and queen of hearts and laughter on a chapter a day tomorrow is psalms 30 let's get back here together and have a small time together we have our audio bible on tiktok facebook youtube and we're looking forward to all the social media platforms. Get connected with us. And yes, 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 yes. Guys, I always kind of like, sometimes I forget. <clears throat> Minister Mark forgets herself. Like I say, every time you come here, if you remember, please get to put your channel as well. Let people go there and get blessed. She does morning devotions. She does evening devotions. I think she does one on Facebook and does the other one on TikTok. I'm not sure how it works, but I know for sure, not sure of which of the channels or if she does it on all of her channels but she does morning devotion she does evening devotion she does bible study as well and she does um praise time she sings <laughs> she sings as well and a lot of those songs are songs that actually touch your soul they touch your heart like when you listen to the words of the song and you meditatively listen to them it will bless you i can assure you I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I actually just take her songs and then come and sing <laughs> on the chapter <every> day. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how we learn from each other and we grow through each other. So let's pray and sign up. 
Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word. We pray that this word should be engrafted on the fleshly tables of our heart. Help us to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Lord, release upon us an attitude of gratitude. Release upon us a, an attitude of praise, O oh God. Let them be a yearning and a hunger and a thirst in our hearts to praise you, to worship you, to honor you because you deserve it. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. We pray that you bless the rest of the days of those who are just starting their day. And for those who have just about half of their day gone, we pray you bless the remaining part of their day. And for those of us who are about to sleep, let's dream dreams and see vision as you've spoken in your word. Father, you say, Men shall dream dreams and young men shall dream dreams and old men shall see visions. Lord, let that be a practical reality in our lives. For those who are still to go to service, Father, I pray that as they gather, you are going to do great and mighty things because they will not gather in vain. You say where two or three are gathered, you're there in their midst. Lord, when you come in your Shekinah glory, things can never remain the same. Let the expectations not be cut short. And I pray that you're going to minister to them in a very special way. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. <laughs> Minister Max, are you on this segment? <laughs> amen. No, oh, he will help me. He will help me. He will help me. And I'm praying with all of my heart that you should be present. You should be live that day. <laughs> okay guys see you tomorrow have a great week go and conquer your world in jesus name ciao, ciao. i love you too mr mark i love you so much